Ask almost anyone you know what dream vacation they want to take in their lifetime and chances are they'll say Hawaii. From its beautiful white sandy beaches and its majestic mountains and steep valleys to its city life, there really is something for everyone to enjoy. When people think about Hawaii, they see a beautiful tropical vacation hotspot unlike any other place in the world. People focus on the incredible weather, the beaches, the hikes, the sunrises and the sunsets. Hawaii is a paradise on earth when you consider the weather, the beauty, and the relaxed lifestyle. Tourists focus on a, their distractions rather than their daily life. People who come to Hawaii to have a good time and forget about their problems. They come to clear their mind and relieve their stress. Unfortunately, that is just the surface. As people seem to forget, Hawaii is full of social problems just like any other state or country in the world. It is not only a vacation place where life is all beautiful, the state of Hawaii has its own struggles. One of them is a high rate of teen pregnancy. Each year, nearly 1 million teenagers in the United States, approximately 10% of all 15 to 19 year old females become pregnant. About one third of these teens support their pregnancies, 14% miscarries and 52% or more than half a million teens bear children while native Hawaiians slash part Hawaiians make up 18% of the teen female population, they are 58% of the teen mothers. While most pregnant teens are 18 or 19 years old, about 35% in Hawaii are 17 or younger, and these are the ones causing greatest concern. More than 80% of them will end up in poverty and reliant on welfare. According to the CDC's Youth Risk Behavior Survey, 5% of Hawaiians youth had sex before age 13, 8% had sex with 4 or more partners, and 79% of sexually active youth do not use birth control the last time they had sex. A lot of it comes down to education. Um, education on birth control options and how to use birth control. It, it varies. It kind of depends, unfortunately, on sometimes the comfort level of the provider, too. If the provider um, is not comfortable with the topic or if the parent is in the room with the patient at a time that might limit the discussion and limit the openness that the, the patient might disclose to the provider, hey, I am sexually active. Um, honestly, I really think it should be at the parent's discretion and the child's um, maturity level. Um, I think, obviously, the best place for sex education is to take place in the home. Some parents are uncomfortable with the topic, um, but I, I really think it needs to be a family discussion. After evaluating the data collected from the campus nurse and the survey for teens in the community, we were able to recognize a major change in the way we try to educate youth on sex education. We thought of the potential solutions to help prevention of teen pregnancy. We went back to the community to ask the teens if our solution could potentially help. Do you feel like it is better to hear from a younger person instead of an older person um, regarding sexual education? Um, would you feel more comfortable about it? Yeah, I definitely feel more comfortable just because old people, I feel like old people are a little nosy and just want to know about your sexual life other than wanting to just educate you about it. Yeah, because when you're hearing it from an old person, it might be kind of awkward hearing from a young person. I feel like you would be more open to listening and can relate more because they're closer in age and things have changed. Um, yeah, I'd feel more comfortable with the younger person because if an older person were to talk to you, it would just feel like another teacher was badgering at you about something. Like, you wouldn't listen as much. We 
are now able to formalize our solution based on the final interviews that we have had with the teams. Our proposal is to create a college credit course at HPU. It could be similar to an 8A course and the goal would be to meet with teens from high schools in our community to educate them. We are positive that this solution would fit in the C's model.